The Gospel of Matthew Two Great Commandments Matthew 22 34-40 Introduction 1. In the temple during his final week prior to his crucifixion, Jesus was questioned by various religious groups. A. The Pharisees and Rudians sought to entangle him with a question about paying taxes. Matthew 22 15-22 B. The Sadducees tried to trip him on the subject of the resurrection. Matthew 22 23-33 His answers caused people to marvel and be astonished. Matthew 22 22 and 33 2 The Pharisees tried once again, this time sending one of their lawyers. A testing him as to which is the great commandment in the law. Matthew 22:34-36. But the Pharisees, when they heard that he had put the Sadducees to silence, gathered themselves together. One of them, a lawyer, asked him a question, testing him. Teacher, which is the greatest commandment in the law? B. Jesus replied by offering two great commandments. One, the first pertained to loving God. Matthew 22 37-38 Jesus said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind. This is the first and great commandment. 2. The second pertained to loving one's neighbor. Matthew 22 39 Upon these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Matthew 22 40 a second likewise is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. The whole law and the prophets depend on these two commandments. 3. While we no longer live under the old law, these two great commandments are still very important to the Christian. A. For they certainly have their counterpart in the new covenant. B. And keeping the commandments of God is just as important now as it was under the old covenant. 1 Corinthians 7 19 1 John 5 3 1 The command to love God A Under the Old Covenant 1 The Israelites were expected to love God Deuteronomy 6 5 A With all your heart B With all your soul C With all your strength D. With all your mind. Matthew 22 37. Mark 12 30. Luke 10 27. The Septuagint has mind, soul, strength in. Deuteronomy 6 5. Emotionally, physically, intellectually, they were to love God. 2. Thus they were to love God with their whole being, not like some who. A. Serve God emotionally, while committing intellectual suicide. B. Serve God intellectually, but with no emotion. C. Serve God emotionally and intellectually, but with no actual obedience requiring the exercise of strength, action. Note how the law stated their responsibility in Deuteronomy 10 13 B. How we are to love God today? 1. Does God expect any less of us? Of course not. We are to love God. A. With all our heart. 1 Colossians 16.22 Note the use of the word phileo. B. With all our soul, body and mind. Romans 12, 1-2 C. With all our strength. Hebrews 10.36 D. With all our mind. Colossians 3, 1. Philippians 4, 8. 2. We demonstrate our love for God through keeping His commandments. A. This is the love of God. 1 John 5, 3. B. This is evidence that we love Jesus. John 14.15 C. The blessing of keeping his commandments. 1. 
we enjoy a special relationship with God and Jesus. John 14 21-23 2. We will abide in the love of God. John 15 10 1 John 2 5 3. Our prayers will be answered. 1 John 3 22 D. How to grow in our love for God. 1. By allowing God's love for us to move us. 1 John 4, 9-10 Romans 5, 8 A. God loved us, even while we were still sinner. B. When we reflect upon His love for us, we will love Him more. 2. By asking God to help us grow in love. 2 Thessalonians 3, 5 A. Paul prayed that the Lord would direct the Thessalonians into the love of God. B. If he could pray such for others, can we not pray the same for ourselves? 3. By praying, and growing in love when he answers. Psalms 116, 1-2 A. David loved the Lord because he heard his supplications. B. Perhaps if we prayed more, and received answers to our prayers more, we would love God more. 4. By keeping the word of God. 1 John 2, 5 A. The love of God is perfected in those who keep God's word. B. Therefore the more we obey Him, the more our love for God will grow. 2. The command to love our neighbor. A. Enjoined upon Christians. 1. We owe it to our neighbors to love them. Romans 13, 8a. 2. When fully applied, it fulfills what the law required. Romans 13, 8b-10. A. Five of the Ten Commandments spoke to working no ill toward our fellow man. B. If one truly loves his or her neighbor, they will not be guilty of killing, adultery, stealing, lying, or covetousness. C. For sins and many others do grave harm to our neighbor. B. Enhanced by a new command. 1. Jesus taught us to love one another. John 13 34-35 2. This new command takes our love to a higher level. A. No longer do we just love one another as we love ourselves. B. We must love one another as Christ loved us. 1. He loved us with the greatest love. John 15 13 2. He became poor, that we might be rich. 2 Corinthians 8, 9 3. Thus no one can use low self-esteem or low self-love as an excuse not to love others as they should. C. Experienced when we keep God's commandments. 1. We demonstrate true love of one another by keeping the commandments of God. 2 John 5-6 2. This is how we know that we really love one another. 1 John 5, 2 A. Not by just claiming to love one another. B. But by setting the proper example, and encouraging each other by the example we set. D. Educated by the example of God. 1. We develop love for one another by being taught of God. 1 Thessalonians 4, 9-10 A. The Thessalonians had been taught of God to love their brethren. B. They did so remarkably, though there was always room for improvement. 2. Jesus by his own example demonstrates what true love is. 1 John 3 16-18 If we wish to learn how to love one another properly, look to God and Jesus. Conclusion 1. How great were these two commandments, to love God, and to love your neighbor? A. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Matthew 22 40 B. Love is the fulfilling of the law. Romans 13 9 
These two commands summed up what the old law required of the Israelites. 2. When one truly loves God and loves his neighbor as himself, a. He is on the road that leads to eternal life. Luke 10 28. B. He is on the path that leads to the kingdom of God. Mark 12 28 34. If you wish to receive eternal life and become a citizen of the kingdom, then demonstrate your love for God by obeying his commands. Matthew 28 18-20. Mark 16:16, 16, 16. and live a life of faith in Jesus that is focused on loving God and your fellow man. The end. The Gospel of Matthew. Two great commandments. Matthew 22:34-40.